The Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman has announced his resignation this Wednesday in protest to Tuesday's Gaza ceasefire struck after eight people were killed in a surge of cross-border violence. The resignation could trigger an early election that might topple Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's conservative coalition government. For more on this, here's Catherine Clifford. Calling for early elections as he leaves his post in protest to the ceasefire he sees as surrendering to terrorism after the worst cross-border violence since the 2014 war. Were I to stay in office, I would not be able to look southern residents in the eye. The security hardliner says his Yisrael Beitenu party are quitting the coalition with him, which will leave Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu with only a one-seat majority in the Knesset. Elections aren't due for another year, but an earlier vote could now be on the cards. Though a Likud party spokesman played this down, commentators suggest it would be in the interest of Netanyahu, who's being investigated for corruption on several fronts. Some analysts saw a bid to poach votes ahead of an election, as Netanyahu comes under fire for accepting the ceasefire. In the back of his mind, he has uh, electoral consideration, and uh, given the criticism towards Netanyahu in the last two days, um, it looks as if a uh, resignation right now could be a perfect time. The Islamist movement Hamas, which rules Gaza, saw the resignation as a win for their side. Lieberman's resignation comes as a result of his inability to fully challenge the resistance in the Gaza Strip. This resignation is a great political victory for the resistance in the face of the most arrogant and extremist Israeli figures. Thousands of residents of the blockaded enclave gathered on Tuesday to celebrate the Egyptian brokered truce while residents in southern Israel took to the streets to protest the ceasefire. Israeli Defense Minister Avidor Lieberman resigned suddenly today to protest a ceasefire between Israel and Gaza militants. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will take over his defense portfolio in the interim, as he, also, he will also serve, continue to serve as the country's foreign minister. In Jerusalem today, Lieberman said the ceasefire was his last straw after two days of deadly cross-border attacks. For me, what happened yesterday, the ceasefire yesterday, combined with the long-term deal with Hamas, is a surrender to terrorism. There's no other definition, no other meaning, but surrender to terrorism. Meanwhile, in Gaza, Palestinians and Hamas officials celebrated the news of Lieberman's resignation. This constitutes a victory for the resistance and recognition of defeat and failure by Lieberman and the Zionist occupation. It's a failure of the policy of siege and devastating wars against the Gaza Strip. So far, the truce reached yesterday has largely held. But this afternoon, Israeli troops fatally shot a Palestinian fisherman they said had gotten too close to the border fence separating Gaza and Israel. In total, seven Palestinians and one Israeli have been killed in this week's fighting.